Unpacking your scooter. Remove the staples from the box in order to avoid injury while unpacking the scooter. Remove the charger, owner's manual, and seat tube from the box. Remove the foam separators that protect the components from damage during shipping. Remove the scooter from the box. Inspect the scooter for any scratches, dents, or damaged cables that may have occurred during shipping. Before using the scooter, be sure to read and understand the owner's manual. Estimated assembly and setup time. Curry recommends assembly by an adult with experience with assembling and maintaining bicycles. Allow up to 30 minutes for assembly, not including initial charge time. Allow up to 8 hours for initial charge. Required tools. Tools for assembly have been provided with the scooter, however we recommend that you use mechanics grade tools. Installing the handlebars. Open the quick release by folding it over then pivoting it down. Slide the lever over to disengage the safety pin and fold the handlebars open. Remove the plastic protector covering the base of the handlebar assembly. Insert the quill part of the handlebar assembly into the fork. You may have to loosen the wedge to allow it to slip into the fork. Slide the stem all the way into the fork until it bottoms out onto the headset nut. Line the handlebars perpendicular with the front wheel and tighten the wedge bolt clockwise using a 13 mm wrench. The wedge is properly tightened when the handlebars cannot be twisted out of alignment with the front wheel. Slide the safety pin over. Pivot the handlebar assembly upright. Rotate the quick release lever up. Fold the quick release lever over to close it. The tension of the quick release lever can be adjusted by tightening or loosening the nut with a 10 mm wrench. Remove the top cap from the handlebar assembly using a 6 mm hex wrench. Place the crossbar on top of the handlebar assembly. The brake lever goes on the left side. Replace the top cap, align the brake lever to a comfortable position, then tighten evenly. Slide the seat tube into the frame. This is a precise fit and the seat tube needs to be lined up with the receiver in the frame. Align the seat with the center line of the scooter. Tighten the seat tube binder bolt using a 5mm hex wrench. Be sure to tighten the seat clamp using a 14mm wrench. Charging the batteries. The initial charge time is 8 hours. The recharge time is up to 8 hours. Your electric scooter may not have a fully charged battery, therefore you must charge the battery prior to initial use. Unscrew the deck retention bolt in order to remove the deck from your scooter. Locate the red plugs and connect them together. Reinstall the deck onto the scooter. Turn the power switch off. Rotate the door on the charger port open and insert the charger plug into the charger port. Pins must be aligned to allow plugs to be inserted into the port, otherwise no charging action will occur. Insert the charger plug into a wall outlet. The light on the charger will change from green to red, indicating the batteries are now charging. Please allow up to 8 hours for initial charge. Inflating the tires. Tires are inflated when shipped, but they invariably lose some pressure between the point of manufacturing purchase. Using a bicycle style pump equipped with a Schrader type valve, inflate the tires to the PSI indicated on the sidewall of the tire. It is normal for tires to lose air pressure over time. Tires should be inflated to recommended pressures before initial use and should be checked periodically. Be sure the brakes are properly functioning. Refer to the owner's manual or a qualified bicycle mechanic if they need to be adjusted. Turn the power switch on. The lights on the throttle illuminate indicating the scooter is ready to use. 